neighborhoods of Virginia Beach. Chicks Beach. <laughs> hey, my name is Sam Sansalone. I'm a real estate agent in Hampton Roads, Virginia. And if you haven't watched my channel before, don't subscribe. Remember, don't subscribe. Watch more of my content. And if you like it, then you subscribe. Whether it's the second time, third time, fifth time, I love it when you can subscribe because it tells me that you love my content. Because I do videos every Wednesday about Hampton Roads and or about real estate and real estate in Hampton Roads. Well, where was I running? Well, I'll tell you in a little bit, but today we're talking about the best neighborhoods in Virginia Beach, and today it's Chicks Beach, or as a lot of the residents will also say, Chesapeake Beach. Chicks Beach is actually the nickname uh, for Chesapeake Beach, and it's become more of a common term now. But I'd say a lot of the residents that have been there for a long time are not as fond of that name. Well, where did that name come from? Well, there's a guy named Luther Lettington who had a hot dog stand on the beach in the 1950s. And actually his nickname was Chick, C-H-I-C. That name stuck and it became Chick's Beach. And now it could be Chick, C-H-I-C, could be Chick, C-H-I-C-K, and also people also still refer to it as Chesapeake Beach. Not to be confused with the Chesapeake Beach that's in Maryland. And that hot dog stand is at a location where a restaurant is currently that I'll talk to you about later as well. Chick's Beach is a local favorite. If you want beachfront or you want access to the beach and also access to other parts of town, Chick's Beach is a great option to live. It doesn't have the same activity as the oceanfront on the boardwalk, but it has a lot of similar features uh, that make people want to go to the oceanfront, mainly the beach and beach access. I would say Chick's Beach is a more affordable alternative to the oceanfront, while also allowing access to other parts of town a lot faster than what the oceanfront can provide. But if you look at the rest of the oceanfront and any area in Virginia Beach that has ocean uh, near it, in terms of living, there aren't too many options. So this has become a prime spot for people to come that don't want to live on the oceanfront and pay those higher prices. Chicks Beach is a great alternative. Now Chicks Beach itself is not a very large area. It's bordered by Shore Drive on the south, then Indian Hill Road on the east, and of course the oceanfront on the north, and then right just west of Pleasure House Road on the west. So that whole area around Lake Joyce uh, to the east of Lake Bradford and north, that whole beachfront is considered Chicks Beach. Now neighborhoods in Chicks Beach, well, uh, Bay Lake Pines kind of is around the edge of Chicks Beach. Bay Lake Beach is another neighborhood right on the edge there. Bay Lake at Lake Joyce, and of course places like Chesapeake Shores and Chesapeake Beach. These are most of the main neighborhoods in Chicks Beach. Uh, however, there are also some smaller ones in there as well. But as you can see in the video, a lot of the homes are very modest. Brick ranch style, uh, decent sized yards, but again, walking distance to the beach. And I'll put a link in the description about the widening of the beach that has been done recently in the past year to Chicks Beach to, uh, to really increase the capacity of the beachfront right in front of the houses to give protection uh, against the weather and to provide more uh, place for people to enjoy. In terms of price range, uh, most single family homes are anywhere from 350, 400 and up, up to over a million dollars. Uh, if you wanted something attached or a condo type style house. In 2019 prices, you can get a condo just under 200,000 uh, in places and rising up to 250 and 300 and of course up from there. So the closer you get to the beach, the larger the house you get, uh, the higher the price is gonna be. School district. School districts in this area are awesome. For elementary schools, you've got Hermitage Elementary, middle school is Great Neck Middle, and high school is Cox. If you go on niche.com and look up those schools, you'll see that they're ranked pretty high in relation to the rest of the state and the rest of the Hampton Roads area. They're all in the top 20% or so of the entire Hampton Roads area going up to Williamsburg. And Great Neck Middle specifically is ranked third out of 67 middle schools in the Hampton Roads area. So if you're moving to Chicks Beach, you can expect to have a high demand school district. Now in terms of private schools, the closest private school would be Cape Henry, which is also near Cox uh, outside of uh, Chicks Beach, but relatively close. And of course I'll drop links in the description below for all these schools and the private schools so you can get a better idea of the schools if you're interested in moving to Chicks Beach. Okay, so shopping. Well, Chicks Beach is not really known for its shopping just because it's known for its beach. Well, um, if you drive a few miles uh, east or south, you'll get a lot of shopping. For instance, um, Town Center is between 10 and 15 minutes drive south, whereas you get Walmart, you get Wegmans, you get Pembroke Mall. Town Center itself is like the downtown area of Virginia Beach. So you're gonna get a lot of those typical big box stores, grocery stores, lots of shopping 
in town center. Now, if you stick right to Chicks Beach in that area, you'll see some strip malls. Your closest grocery store is uh, the Kroger that's near the corner of Pleasure House Road and Shore Drive, and among a few other small uh, shops and some gas stations that are right off of Shore Drive. But now, for restaurants, Chicks Beach has a lot of access to restaurants, mainly because it's near the ocean. So remember that restaurant I was talking to you about before, where that uh, hot dog shop was back in the 50s? Well, that place now where Chicks Beach originated is uh, the restaurant called Bowie 44, which was previously called Alexander's on the Bay. It's a great spot where you can have a nice dinner, overlooks the ocean, and you can see Chesapeake Bay Bridge from that restaurant. Other local restaurants in Chicks Beach are uh, Zio's Pizza Place and uh, HK on the Bay. Going back out to Shore Drive, the really popular taste is right on Shore Drive, as well as the Leaping Lizard Cafe. Then there's one restaurant in Chicks Beach that I'm not gonna mention yet, because I'm gonna tell you about it later as my favorite go-to spot in Chicks Beach. If you drive east on Shore Drive, just a couple of minutes, you'll get to the Lynn Haven Inlet, which is where the Lesnar Bridge is, which is where I was running in the video earlier. And there are some awesome restaurants there. So for instance, Chicks Oyster Bar, one of the, one of the restaurants that calls Chicks C-H-I-C-K. Bubba's Seafood is right there too. And just nearby is one of the famous local restaurants, Hot Tuna. And one of my favorites that I told you about in the pros and cons of Virginia Beach video, Carob Shack, amongst a few other local seafood places and local bars and grills uh, in and around Chicks Beach. It's a real great place for restaurants. And if you want to go a little bit further, you can get towards the ocean front, you can go towards town center, 15 to 20 minute drive, and you've got some awesome restaurant options. Now let's talk about what's around Chicks Beach beyond what we've already discussed. One thing I'll mention is that the Bayville Farms Park is also near Chicks Beach. If you go east on a shore drive away from Chicks Beach, right past it, you'll see Bayville Farms Park on the right hand side. Well that is an awesome park. Places for kids to play, a playground, uh, basketball courts, tennis courts, uh, lots of nature. But my favorite thing is it has an 18 hole disc golf course, which aren't, there aren't many places in the area that have disc golf courses, much less a full 18 hole. People always ask me where the best dog parks are. Well, this one has a dog park. And across the street from Bayville Farmers Park is Bayville Golf Club. You're about 15 to 20 minute drive to the boardwalk. You're about 10 minutes of a drive to First Landing State Park, which is right on the northeastern tip of Virginia Beach, and you're close by to Pleasure House Point, which is a little protected area where you can walk your dog, you can go for a walk. It's right next to Pleasure House Creek, where you can take your non-motorized boats and go out and push off there and have a nice time. And of course, if you're on Chicks Beach, you can look up and see the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, which leads to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, which is one of the seven engineering wonders of the modern world. The 23-mile bridge uh, that extends up to the eastern shore of Virginia. But be warned, don't just drive across the bridge. You're gonna get charged a lot. There's a toll that runs up that bridge, $18 during peak times, 14 for off peak. So if you're gonna go across the bridge, make sure you're doing it for a reason. Otherwise, you can enjoy looking at it for free. Well, the restaurant I wanna to talk to you about is actually a brewery called Commonwealth Brewery. This one's awesome. This is right off of Pleasure House Road in the middle of Chicks Beach as you're driving towards the beach. On the right hand side, you'll see it. They often have food trucks parked outside, cornhole, uh, and they brew their own beer right there on the location, of course. So uh, one of my favorite spots to just enjoy people, enjoy my friends, and play some games inside too. And of course, more information about all these places and locations are located in the comments below. If you're gonna take a stop at the ocean front, check out Chicks Beach too, see what you think. And it could be some place you might wanna move to sometime. Chicks Beach, too. Okay, now shopping. Well, chicks. Okay, now well shopping. Now school districts. School districts are actually really school districts. Now school districts 